video explains how to collect nasal, nasopharyngeal and oropharyngeal specimens for the Nile von Minden COVID-19 antigen rapid tests for professional users. The basis for the test procedure and reliable test results using the Nadal and Didizio COVID-19 antigen rapid tests lies in correct and thorough sample collection. In this video, the instructions for taking upper respiratory tract swabs are based on those provided by the Robert Koch Institute. Please also refer to the instructions found in the package insert of your Nadal or Didizio COVID-19 antigen rapid test. Personal infection control measures must be observed before collecting a swab sample. The sampler should wear a respiratory mask that is at least FFP2 or an equivalent class, as well as a protective gown, gloves and protective goggles. Please also observe any further regulations that apply to you. Only use synthetic fibre swabs with plastic shafts. We recommend using the swabs included with our tests, as they comply with all important criteria. Do not use calcium alginate swabs or swabs with wooden shafts as they may contain substances that inactivate some viruses and inhibit further testing. Hold the swab like a pen between your thumb, index and middle fingers. This will give you flexibility in case the swab encounters resistance. When collecting a nasal swab specimen, it is important to obtain as much secretion as possible. Insert the swab into the nostril. Gently push the swab approximately 2 to 2.5 two centimeters into the nostril until you meet resistance at the level of the turbinate bone. Gently rotate the swab five times against the nasal wall to ensure that you collect both mucus and cells. Slowly withdraw the swab from the nose while continuing to rotate it. Repeat this process in the other nostril using the same swab. This will ensure that enough specimen is collected from both nasal cavities. To collect a nasopharyngeal swab, the patient should tilt their head back slightly. Support their head with your free hand, or let them lean against a wall. That way you can avoid sudden movements. Before starting, inform the patient that the swab sample collection will feel uncomfortable for a short time and that they are welcome to close their eyes. Insert a swab into the nostril, parallel to the palate, not upwards, but almost horizontally. Continue this movement until you meet resistance, or until the distance is equal to that from their ear to their nostril. Both indicate contact with the nasopharynx, which is after about 5 to 6 centimeters in adults. Gently rub and roll the swab. Leave it in place for a few seconds in order to absorb secretion. Slowly withdraw the swab while continuing to rotate it. Samples can be taken from both nostrils using the same swab. However, it is not necessary to take samples from both sides if the tip is already saturated with liquid after the first side. To collect an oropharyngeal swab, ask the patient to open their mouth wide, stick their tongue out and say, ah. Press the tongue down with a spatula. With this type of sampling, it is also important to inform the patient before starting that collecting the swab sample will feel uncomfortable for a short time and that they are welcome to close their eyes. Carefully insert a sterile swab into the throat and collect secretions by rotating and rubbing the swab on the reddened posterior pharyngeal wall and palatal arches. Slowly remove the swab, making sure not to touch the tongue, the base of the tongue, the palate the teeth or the gums. Once collected, swab specimens should ideally be used straight away and the test procedure started immediately. For best test performance, use freshly collected specimens. Do not use specimens that are obviously contaminated with blood as this may interfere with the sample flow and lead to inaccurate test results. You will find corresponding instructional videos for our tests on our channel. There we show you how to carry out and interpret the results of our Nadal or Didizio COVID-19 antigen rapid tests. <music>